Now, using a mobile app to get divorced might seem a rather cold and impersonal way to go about it, but a company that's developed the new app says it can save divorcing couples thousands of dollars compared with using lawyers. So, a legal service is the latest industry to be challenged by so-called disruptors. Well, this app is called Amicable, and it charges users about $1,200 for facilitating a lawyer-free divorce. Pip Wilson is chief executive and co-founder of Amicable Apps. Pip, welcome to Business Live. So, when people are going through the process of divorce, isn't that face-to-face -face contact? so important at such an emotionally difficult time? Well, when we were founding Amicable Ben, we felt that there was really um, not enough in the way of alternatives for people getting divorced. There was one extreme or the other. They either had to be able to do it very cheaply by sitting around a table, making their own decisions, and downloading forms from the government website, which is a very hard thing to do when you're in times of emotional stress, and you're really not often on speaking terms, or you had the other extreme, which was to totally outsource all of your communication by using lawyers, which is very expensive and can lead to actually a lot more acrimony. We felt we needed something different as a solution, and that's what our app does. It allows people to communicate using a device that they use on a daily basis and really helps with that communication between couples while they're going through a very difficult time. But if they're not using a lawyer, how can they be sure that one side or the other isn't agreeing to a deal that really is a bad deal for them? Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's a very good question. So we have two things. We have the app, um, which shortcuts and saves a lot of money when people are making decisions. So it's a communication device for couples to make decisions. Um, and then we also have a service which um, we use divorce coaches to offer advice and to help couples reach those final agreements and we also then recommend that people write them up using a legal document to make sure they are captured and they're in line with what the uh, law advises. And just one, uh, just, just briefly before we go, the um, uh, obviously viewers watching all around the world, the jurisdictions, the laws differ. Um, does this app work anywhere in the world or is it restricted to certain areas? Well, the app is there to help couples communicate and um, especially if you've got children, this is fundamental. There's no point um, not being able to communicate when you're going to be co-parents moving forwards. So the app can do that anywhere in the world because that communication is actually very um, general and we've had people in 26 countries already download our app. The legal parts, as you said, are different country to country. So our service works in England and Wales, and we are talking to partners other way in the world in order to be able to expand that. OK, Pip, thanks very much. Pip Wilson. Thank you. Thank you.